Hello, namaste, and welcome to the first of our uh, chakra classes and our seven week series. Uh, so today is the root chakra. And um, this is our very base. This is our physical nature. This is the earth element. And this uh, chakra, this class invites us um, to the essence of grounding and of deep trust and stability. It's our embodied self where we're present in our own body. It's the solidity of our bones and our physical self. And it's our trust and having enough. And when we're ungrounded in our root chakra, sometimes we have this essence or this feeling of never having enough. And it allows us to feel we have enough food, we have enough material things, we have enough stability, we have enough finances. And um, lack of balance in the root chakra can lead us into a sense of anxiety and stress and worry and not trust in the universe to provide uh, for everything that we need. So as we work through this, this chakra today, uh, we're going to try to cultivate a sense of earthiness um, in your legs, your feet, and in the pelvic floor. And uh, we're going to start in a seated position, whatever that looks like for you, and really um, grounding into that seat so that you can feel that base, that very base um, that you sit upon. So this is about our legs, our feet, and the pelvic floor through our practice. So we're going to come into a mudra and start with your left hand in front of your pelvis with the palm turned up and then simply place the right hand on top of it and let your eyes close here. And let each, each exhale land you in this moment. And as we move through our practice, we'll aim to feel um, radiant instead of rushed and stable instead of stuck. So let's take a few deep breaths into the belly. Really fill the belly. Let your belly really expand here all the way down to the pelvis where your hands are resting. And exhale out your mouth. Draw the belly in. Let's do a few more like that. Inhale the nose, fill the belly, push your belly out, and exhale, draw the belly in. Three more like that. And then on this next inhale, pause at the top of your inhale, and just hold on to that breath for a moment. Feel into your roots. Hold it, hold it. And as we prepare to exhale, we're going to exhale out the mouth and imagine the breath traveling down into the earth. Now bring that right hand just to touch the earth or your mat right beside you or in front of you, wherever is most comfortable for you. Let your chin drop just slightly. And let's take a few more breaths, inhaling down deep into the belly. And as you exhale, imagine your breath traveling down, out through the pelvis, into the earth, out through the thighs, through the feet, through the legs, down into the earth. Take another inhale down into the belly and as you exhale watch the breath enter into the earth out through your perineum your base your seat your sit bones your pubic bone your feet your legs take another inhale exhale down into the earth let's do two more like that really get grounded through our breath inhaling deep into the belly like you're filling a water bottle from the bottom up and then exhale. This time exhaling through your nose down into the earth, growing roots into the earth to feel grounded, stable and strong. One last breath. And then let your eyes float open 
We're going to, if you're sitting on a cushion, you can remove your cushion. We're going to come on to hands and knees for cat-cow. And um, actually, we're not going to start with cat-cow, what am I saying? We're going to start in child's pose and then move into cat-cow from our child's pose. So you can come into a wide-legged child's pose here. Send your sit bones back to your heels. And let your legs be wide enough so that your chest, your heart, can move towards the earth, to that earth element. And you can either stack your hands to rest your forehead on in front of you, or extend your arms long, press your palms down, and let your forehead rest. And if your forehead doesn't easily rest, put a block under your forehead. So stay in child's pose, breathing deep into the belly and feeling that sense of the breath in the back body. I'm going to come out of child's pose because you can hear me better when I'm not in child's pose. And just um, breathe into the back body, to that subconscious where you might be feeling that anxiety somewhere in the back of your mind, in the back of your being, and breathe spaciousness into that space. And as you exhale... Feel the breath travel down through your hands, through your shins, through your feet into the earth and let you feel grounded. Let your heart move close to the earth to help you feel more grounded. A couple more breaths here in your child's pose. Setting your intention of stability and groundedness and being embodied in this present moment. Take one more breath here. And then as you inhale, rise up into tabletop. Curl your toes under. This is a hard pose for me, but I know you guys can do this better. And we're going to sit back on our heels. So this is opening up the arches, all of the, um, the marma points in the arches or the reflexology points. The feet are what connect us to the earth all the time. If you are able to, you can put your hands on your thighs. My toes don't bend very good, so I need a little support. You can also have your hands on blocks if you're like me. But just feel that opening into those centers of the soles of the feet that meet the earth, that are in contact with the earth, that help us with that sense of earth energy and earth groundedness. Take one more breath here, allowing the feet to open, and then keep the toes curled under for our cat-cow. Let's just come into tabletop and move with our breath. Inhaling, opening front body. Exhaling, curling the belly into the spine and really pressing into that earth stability beneath you as you arch the spine. And inhale, let's do three more rounds like that. Moving with your breath. Let each breath, each exhale, ground you to the earth and ground you into your body and into this present moment. Now on this next cow pose, keep your toes curled under, we're going to move into downward facing dog on our cat pose. So as we begin to arch, begin to lift the knees, send the belly to the thighs, keep your knees deeply bent so that maybe your thighs thighs can come right or your belly can come right to your thighs we're still up on our toes and we're pressing the top of the mat away grounding into the thumb and the index finger and then slowly begin to lift the sit bones to the sky and you might stay up on your toes or your heels might begin to move towards the earth and even if they don't touch your mat you're creating that action of the roots are growing from your heels, attaching you to the earth, even if they're raised up. Take another breath here. And then on our next inhale, we're going to raise the right leg into three-legged dog. So you can be up high on those left toes. And as we exhale, we're going to draw knee to nose and thigh up to the belly. And we're going to stay here and exhale everything out and hold the exhale and then inhale up we're going to do two more like that exhale draw it in thigh to belly lift up high lift that thigh to the belly as much as you can as you hold your exhale and then inhale it up 
Exhale, last one. Hold the breath at the bottom of your exhale as you draw that thigh in. And place that foot down. Let's move to our second side. Left leg comes up. We get a nice stretch. We're rising high on the right toes. Exhale, draw that in. We're retaining the breath at the bottom of the exhale as you pull that thigh into the belly as much as you can. Inhale, up to more like this. We're cultivating that relationship to the root, to the root chakra, that root energy. Inhale, last one. Exhale, retain the breath as you pull it up. And send the foot back. Let's come down to the knees. And we'll lower down to our belly, knees, chin, chest. So lowering down, chest, chin, and then drawing forward, straightening the feet out. Inhale, rise up into your cobra. Feel the belly grounding to the earth, the pubic bone grounding to the earth. And reaching through the crown of your head as you extend, the tops of the feet are pressing down so that your knees lift. Take one more breath here. And then we're exhaling back through tabletop, so through knees, curling the toes under, downward facing dog. So we already did those knee to nose. This time we're going to step our foot up. So inhale, right foot up. And as we exhale, step that right foot wide. So to the outside edge of your mat. So we have a little bit more space, excuse me, between uh, knee and um, between right and left is what I was trying to say. So we're going to do some lunge, reverse lunge, but in a little bit wider stance. You can even turn your right toes out a little bit. And as you inhale, let the hips drop, lift the heart, lengthen, open the front body. And as we exhale, we curl the spine like we're doing a cat-cow here. Press into the heel, lift the right toes. And let's move between the two. Inhale forward and exhale back and here again we're cultivating the roots as though we're drawing the roots out of the base of the spine all the way down the leg into the heel you're moving with your breath the inhale brings us forward and the exhale we curl the spine into reverse lunge one more and then step that foot back you can step it wide Let's come down to child's pose, ground down to the earth a little bit once again. Give your wrists a little break. We've been on the wrists a lot. You can roll your wrist if you wish. And then let's rise up, find down dog. Let's do our second side. Float left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it wide on your mat to the outside of your left hand. And we'll do the same thing. So as we drop the hips to the earth, we open the front body and lift the heart, lift your gaze, and exhale, reverse lunge, curl your spine as you press the earth away from you, getting into that left heel and the back of that whole left leg. Inhale forward and long. Exhale, curl it back, press into that left heel. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. And then you can go ahead and step that left foot back. Let's do another little flow or come into child's pose. You can drop your knees, lower, knee, lower knees, chin, chest. And then draw the heart forward as the belly comes down, tops of the feet come down. Inhale, rise up into your cobra. And then let's bring our hands a little further forward. Uh, or uh, Elbows come down. And to sphinx, fo sphinx pose, drawing the elbows back towards the hips as you draw your heart forward and send the feet out long behind you. And you bring your feet a little bit wider to give you a little bit more space. And then exhale, slide the hands out, come down. Stack your hands underneath your forehead, rock the hips from side to side, really feel the earth on your front body as you do this. Feel that solid plane beneath you. Maybe bend the knees and swivel the shins from side to side. 
Feel that sense of stability beneath you here. And then let's rise up. Child's pose for just one exhale. And then up to table, down dog. From our down dog, we're going to step our um, left foot forward. And I forgot to say, have a couple of blocks handy. We're moving into lizard pose. Walk that left foot out to the side. So we were almost there in our last little lunge sequence we did. You can have stacked blocks or stacked books to bring your forearms down to. Maybe you need to stay on straight arms. But we're going to get into that connection of the root here once again. This root chakra honors our whole physical body and our experiences. Breathe down into the earth here. And you might rock from front to back a little bit. We're just supercharging the root with a sense of vitality and a sense of greater immunity, which we all need that right now. And one more breath here. And then let's step it back. Let's do our second side. Stepping the right foot wide. You can send the toes out to the side a little bit. Come down to your forearms on whatever height of blocks or support you need. Rock from side to side. Or sorry, rock from front to back. <laughs> and again, feel the, the breath moving down into the earth. A lizard is a very earthly creature that slithers along the earth, keeping its body close to earth all the time. One more breath here. And then let's send that right foot back. Take an inhale here. As we exhale, step or walk to the top of your mat, staying connected to the earth. Take an inhale, lift the heart and lengthen from those sit bones to the crown. Exhale, the belly draws in. Feel into your feet as you press down and rise. Press into the earth to rise up. And draw into your heart center. Take a moment in this mountain pose grounding into that stable surface beneath you feeling that you are supported one more breath here and then we're simply going to step our right foot to the back of our mat or whichever foot works for you so that you can still see your computer so we're not as wide a stance as we might be for say warrior two but a nice wide stance so you have some space. Bring your arms out to the side and as we exhale, we're gonna fold forward and begin to reach your hands forward as we come into a wide-legged forward fold and we're sending the sit bones back, weight into the heels as we continue to reach our fingers forward. So creating length and creating the action of drawing our feet toward one another to really activate through the legs. Take one more breath here. And then walk your hands back so that they are under your face. Inhale, halfway lift, stay here. Rotate your left toes back to the top of your mat. Send the back heel out a little bit further. So we're like in a warrior two stance. But we're gonna walk our hands over in a diagonal towards the top corner of our mat. And so really lengthening through the arms and really finding that strength and stability in both your feet here, pressing down equally in both feet, drawing that left thigh closer to the earth, the root moving closer to the earth and breathe here. And then walk it back, turn both feet parallel once again, halfway lift here. Take a nice inhale, and then as we exhale, pivot the feet for our second side. And then walk your hands, bend that right knee deeply, knee right over the ankle, and walk your hands out on a diagonal. Your hands can be wide here. Take one more breath, feeling into the strength of the legs. And then walk it back to center. Bring the feet parallel again. Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine and the heart. Turn your toes out, 45 degree angle. Bend your knees deeply. Bring your hands to your hips. 
come upright into uh, goddess pose. Actually, let's straighten the legs for a minute while I talk about your hand position. We're going to bring the hands out in front of you as though you're pushing something away from you. So your palms, your fingertips are up to the sky, arms are straight parallel to the floor. So take an inhale, draw the hands back, bend the elbows, exhale, bend the knees, press forward. So we're gonna do this a few times. Inhale up, draw the elbows back, lift the heart. Exhale, move towards the earth, press away from you. Now let's keep moving with the breath. Inhale, exhale. And sit as low as you can on that exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale, press. Inhale up. Last one. Exhale, press. Sink low. Let's stay here for a moment. Really feel into the strength of the legs. And then inhale, rise up. Beautiful. Turn your left toes to the top of your mat. Bend into that front knee, knee over ankle. Press that, whoops, press that top thigh down. Bend that knee deeply. Send your back arm out. Send your top arm out, warrior two. Nice breath here. Feel the strength and stability of both legs as you press down and draw the feet toward one another to create an energy of um, strength. Your strong warrior to face any life's challenges. And then let's move into side angle. Reach. Bring that arm overhead and lengthen through the side body. Again, feeling into both feet. You can look towards that front foot down to the earth. One more breath. And come up. Let's do our second side. Turn your toes to the right. We're really keeping the feet grounded here. You notice through the transition of all of our poses, bend that knee and really press that right thigh towards the earth. Press it down with that right hand. I have a bad knee that doesn't allow me to go. It pops around, but go as deep as you can get that thigh. Send your left arm out behind you, lift the right. Again, creating that action of pressing down and feet toward one another. Feeling how strong of a warrior you are to face all of life's challenges with grace and ease. And then let's go ahead and move into side angle. Let's reach and forearm to the knee or fingertips to the floor. Top arm reaches over. And again, for more grounding, you can look to that front foot. You can also look up if you're feeling pretty grounded for a little more uplifting energy. Take one more breath here. And let's rise up. Turn your toes to the long side of your mat. Hands to your hips, take an inhale, exhale, fold forward. Again, we're getting into those, the roots of our leg all the way from the tail down. You can grab your shins, you can grab your big toe and pull the toe up as you press down into your hands so they're moving in opposite directions and draw shoulders up away from your ears. Neck is long. Take one more breath here. And then inhale halfway wherever your hands are. And then release your hands as you exhale to your hips and inhale the rest of the way up. Turn your toes to the long side of your mat. Bring the hands down and let's step it back. Downward facing dog. Let's float right leg to the sky, three legged dog. Keep that leg up and three legged dog. And we're gonna walk the hands back into standing splits, really feeling the roots drawing from the pelvis, the base of the pelvis all the way down that left standing leg. And then walk it forward, three-legged dog. Bring that right foot down. And let's do second side. Left leg reaches up, get nice and long. And then walk it back, standing splits. <laughs> Might not be completely graceful, but you'll get there. Again, feel those roots coming all the way down that leg. 
into the earth and then walk it forward three-legged dog bring that foot down take an inhale lengthen and as we exhale walk your feet up to the top of your mat walking them wide toes pointed out let's bend the knees come into malasana as we bring the root closer to the earth hands to your heart center pressing into your elbows I mean elbows pressing into your knees and as you inhale you might feel a sense of the perineum moving towards the earth and as you exhale you might sense the perineum rising up with the diaphragm so just take a few breaths here feeling that very subtle movement of the base of the root moving in tandem with your diaphragm which also moves in tandem with the back of the throat or the soft palate all three of them moving in unison together let's take two more breaths here one more breath and then bring your hands down let's lift the sit bones high to the sky let's bring the toes in a little bit still a wide-legged forward fold here bring your fingertips so that they point toward one another and if you have to bend your knees to do that that's okay and then begin to bend your knees a little bit more so that you can bring your hands behind your feet and maybe wrap them around head drops knees begin to bend maybe bend a little bit more maybe bend a little bit more and then release the hands stay in the seated position chair pose spread your feet apart as you reach up into chair press into the earth come all the way up circle your arms wide bring them to your heart center pause in your mountain pose for just a moment we're going to make our way down to our mat bring your feet together here take an inhale exhale down into your roots to your feet and then inhale reach up as you exhale and sit down in chair pose create that action of moving your feet away from one another and keep going into a really really deep chair keep reaching into your chair as far as you can go and then release down onto your seat <clears throat> kind of on a crack of my mat here <laughs> we're going to um, come down into bridge pose just going to check our time here see how we're doing we're right on time so bridge pose is really good for releasing excess energy in the root as well as drawing in energy we draw energy up from our feet our arms our shoulders but it also allows a free flow if we have too much root where we're just stuck and can't move forward so we want stability but not being stuck so let's go ahead and let's move in and out of bridge a few times so as you inhale lift the hips reach the arms overhead and as you exhale bring it back down let's do that a few more breaths inhale up and exhale bring it down one more this time as we inhale up into bridge pose you can either intertwine your fingers if that's available to you under your back or bend the elbows press the elbows you can still walk the upper arms underneath you a little bit whichever variation is more available to you but really feel into your feet here as you find that stability and maybe are able to lift a little bit higher press the back of your head into the earth so that the natural curve of your neck is there so that none of the vertebrae of your neck are in contact with your mat take one more breath and then we slowly lower down bring your palms to touch your pubic bone your heel of your hand on your hip bones 
and just rest here. Feel into your breath. Feel the flow of breath and see if you can come into awareness of that subtle movement of the base of the perineum that moves with your diaphragm. So as you inhale, you may feel a slight expansion downward. And as you exhale, you might feel a movement upward, very subtle, more subtle than the movement of the diaphragm, but uh, sorry, less subtle than the movement of the diaphragm, but still more subtle than that movement of the soft palate. But they will all three move in tandem. And just feel the warmth of your hands on your pelvis, your pubic bone, your hip bones. Take one more breath here. Just feeling into the sweetness of that support beneath you. And then we're going to draw knees in towards your uh, belly, to, or knees in towards your chest, thighs towards your belly. <clears throat> we're going to bring the feet together, knees a little bit wider, and we're going to draw them in. And as we draw them in, we're going to arch the back up a little bit so our, our low back is moving up towards the sky as we pull knees in. So the back lifts away. And then as we exhale, we're going to press the back down and lift our head up towards the knees. So it's kind of like cat cow lying down. And let's do a couple more like that. Draw knee, shins in, knees in, arch your back, lift your back. And as you exhale, curl the back, lift forehead to your knees. One more round. Feeling all those contact parts of the earth as we oscillate between these two. And then let's release both feet down once again. Now, if you <clears throat> have a strap, you can use a strap for this last pose here. We're going to extend the left leg long <clears throat> onto your mat and reach the right foot up. So if you don't have a strap, you can just grab your shin here or you can place the strap across, up, across the ball of your foot and find a place where you can be, uh, have your knee straight. <clears throat> and you can place your left hand on that left thigh that's down on your mat. And we're going to draw that foot, we're going to lift your head as you reach up towards your foot or your shin or your ankle or your strap and lift, lift, lift. So we're using some core strength here, pressing this left foot down. You can extend that left arm long as you draw that foot up and overhead, head, forehead towards your knee. Take one more breath here. And then release it all down, bend that right knee. <coughs> Excuse me, bring that foot down. Bend your left knee. Pause here with hands on your pelvis, heel of your hand on your hip points, fingertips towards the pubic bone, almost like you're making a V with your hand and your thumbs moving toward each other like this. And then let's go ahead and do our second side. So extend right leg straight, draw the left foot up to the sky, and then again, using your strap, grabbing your ankle, grabbing your shins, whatever you need to, right hand comes to that um, right thigh that's straight down on your mat. And then as you take an inhale and as you exhale, lift head and shoulders as you draw the leg overhead and lengthen that right um, hand as though you're pressing down on your thigh, but also reaching towards your toes. So we're engaging our core here, our strength as forehead moves towards the knee. Knee moves towards the forehead. Take one more breath. And then release down. Release that left foot down. Bend your right knee. Arms wide. Let's just take a nice little spinal twist, letting the knees move over to the right. Maybe your gaze moves to the left. Feel the weight of your arms resting on the earth. Feel the weight of your legs resting, your shoulders, your head. 
Take one more breath. And then move back to center. And let's do second side, letting the knees drop over to your left. Maybe looking right. And again, feeling to that support, that earth energy holding you. Let your body feel weighted. And then coming back to center. Maybe you want to draw your knees into chest one more time. And this is actually really nice to do if you're up for it. We're moving into Shavasana right away. But grab the back of your thighs, let your knees bend, and rock from front to back and really feel into the earth energy on your back body. And just let yourself rock. Rocking, massaging the spine. And after your last one, when it feels good to you, release the feet, release the arms, extend your legs long. If you have um, a sandbag or a bag of rice, you can place that on your pelvis for even more grounding. For your Shavasana, you can Put on a nice, quiet, relaxing song for your Shavasana. Or you can set a timer and let yourself sink into the earth, into the stillness of your Shavasana for at least three to seven minutes. And when your Shavasana is complete and don't skip your Shavasana, you can move into the root chakra meditation. So as you move into Shavasana, allow every cell in your body to be infused with that vital energy, that essence of embodiment, of stability, of strength. And let it seep into all the spaces between the cells and into your thoughts. And I will see you in a few minutes or later in the day for our root chakra meditation on your meditation, meditation seat. Namaste. Have an amazing day.